love him so when he flips that dough he's pizza boy usa <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another one. If you're new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do car reviews, and today we are in the new 2020 Genesis G70, courtesy of Jack Giambalvo Genesis in York, Pennsylvania. And so I am super excited to be in this one. I actually did review the G70 last year, although I reviewed the base engine. This year we have the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6. So yeah, who wouldn't be excited, right? Anywho, this car was named the 2019 North American Car of the Year. It's incredibly good looking and there are some changes actually for the 2020 model year as well. And so of course, I will be going over those for you guys as well as everything else. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and get started here and let's start with pricing. And so there will be a few different setups. I'll put it that way for the 2020 Genesis G70. First one being a two liter rear wheel drive setup starting at $35,450, which by the way, is a modest $550 increase from the 2019 model year. Then there is the two liter rear wheel drive six speed setup. And then there is the 3.3 liter rear wheel drive setup starting at $44,650. And so if you wanted to add all wheel drive to any of those, but the six speed simply add two thousand dollars to any of those prices the six speed is specifically only available as a rear wheel drive configuration in case you were curious there but and of course to go along with those prices there are some package options including the elite package that we have today as well as a prestige package and a sport package and of course those are going to increase the price and i'll go over those as we go along in the video but as i previously alluded to there are actually two different engine setups available for the 2020 g70 first one being a two liter turbocharged in line four cylinder the one i reviewed last year which will put out 252 horsepower 260 pound feet of torque sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and rev matching actually zero to 60 on that one comes in at approximately 6.2 seconds quarter mile time 14.7 seconds and mpg number 17 city 26 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel aka 91 octane and higher but so then there is the other engine setup the one we have today being a 3.3 liter twin turbo v6 putting out 365 horsepower 376 pound feet of torque again sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters and rev matching zero to 60 time get ready you guys 4.5 seconds that is crazy and i'm so excited to be testing that out in a little bit here in this video but quarter mile time comes in at approximately 12.8 seconds mpg numbers come in at 17 city 26 highway for the rear wheel drive 17 city 25 highway for the all-wheel drive and so before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or accelerations i did want to mention there is a drive mode dial directly behind the shifter and that's going to give you driving modes like smart eco comfort sport and custom and essentially Essentially what they are going to do is not only illuminate the gauge setup in slightly different colors, but it is going to also adjust the throttle response, shift points, steering sensitivity, and Genesis actually says there is a secret drift mode for the G70. And so essentially the way to go about accessing that is to simply turn off the ESC or electronic stability control as well as traction control. And I don't know if you guys have looked it up or not, but there are plenty of G70s drifting all around the place in Korea. So this is definitely quite a fun drift car, at least in Korea. I'm not sure anyone's drifting it in the US, but I gotta tell you, I would love to see that. But nonetheless, I think you guys know what we have to do next. Let me actually put it in that sport driving mode and it, whoa, okay. <laughs> did immediately downshift for me and with a 3.3 liter twin turbo definitely started launching me forward a little bit there that's kind of funny anyhow first thing i wanted to try out there was the paddle shifter so let's go ahead and do that and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right you guys and here we go oh my goodness oh my goodness this car is freaking quick y'all paddle shifters actually did all right not the quickest reacting paddle shifters i've ever tested but Dang, that acceleration was craziness. Um, yeah, I think I think we could probably go a little bit faster now. <laughs> let's uh, let's go ahead and take it out of paddle shifter mode and let's do a quick little acceleration, letting the car do the shifting, and let's see how quickly we can get this new 2020 G70 here up to speed. Here we go. That was craziness. <laughs> that launches your head in the back of the seat. Oh my goodness, that acceleration is breathtaking. Let me tell you guys, it is an even 32 degrees Fahrenheit right now here in Pennsylvania. 
no issues with traction slippage whatsoever in sport mode instantly puts the power to the ground i have a rear wheel drive mustang i would have slipped like crazy right there but dang this all-wheel drive system this h-track all-wheel drive system that genesis has immediately puts the power to the ground making that acceleration absolutely magical just like the freaking walt disney world <laughs> but so anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so of course you will find four wheel disc brakes and actually can be configured with a brembo braking setup for example all the 3.3 liter twin turbocharged setups will come with that brembo braking setup but also the two liter manual and here's a new feature for the 2020 g70 there is now a performance braking setup that will come standard for the two liter sport package so that's one of the new additions if you want it for the 2020 G70. As far as the braking feel goes, I'm coming up on a stop sign on a very steep hill here. Braking feels perfectly fine. I have absolute complete confidence that I am not going to drift into this highway right here. <laughs> Anyways, to go along with that, touching on suspension and handling a little bit up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, an independent multi-link rear suspension. Lipid slip differential is going to come with the 3.3 liter and the 2 liter sport package. So that's essentially going to send torque to the wheel with the most traction, giving you not only a better acceleration, but also better handling as well. It's definitely nice. Adaptive variable suspension, that is definitely something you want in any kind of performance car, and that is gonna come with a 3.3 liter sport package. So essentially what that is going to do is it's gonna monitor each shock absorber individually, not only giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, really giving you the best of both worlds. So whenever that option is available, I always try to recommend that one. So that is definitely kind of a necessity in a fun car performance oriented car like the g70 i will say that but might as well touch on some of those package options now that i had mentioned earlier there's the elite package the one we have today for the 3.3 liter by the way i'm going to do those first elite package adds 1450 dollars prestige package adds 4300 and the sport package is going to add 5600 dollars to any of those prices i had previously mentioned and then if you go with the two liter setup those package prices are going to be the elite going for 4600 prestige sets you back eight thousand four hundred and fifty and this sport adds an additional ten thousand dollars and so i'm going to mention what those package options actually include later in the video but did want to drop the prices right there for you as far as ride quality goes it's been perfectly fine not as smooth as the g80 sport i just got done reviewing i absolutely love that so if you wanted the very best ride quality that's the one you're going to want to go with but if you wanted a quicker acceleration zero to 60 and five seconds for that one 4.5 seconds for the g70 so that's definitely where it's at as far as acceleration goes but and actually either way i don't know what i'm saying they're both ridiculously fast honestly it's the same engine setup as far as steering feel goes it is going to adjust based on your driving mode so really there's something for everybody there i happen to like the sport driving mode it is a heavier weighted steering wheel because of that if you wanted a little looser steering feel simply go with maybe the comfort driving mode that's going to give you that as far as cabin noise goes it's super quiet in here definitely no issues there and touching on visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. Typically sedans, you're not going to have any issues there either. And I did want to mention, you can actually get a head-up display in the G70 if you go with the Prestige or the Sport packages. We, of course, don't have either of them today because we have the Elite package, but you can get it. did want to mention that as well. It's going to assist with visibility too. Rain-sensing windshield wipers are going to come with the 2-liter Prestige and Sport packages and the 3.3 liter elite trim level and up and so we do have those today although there is no chance of rain in pennsylvania today it's quite sunny actually so that's kind of a plus as well but that's going to assist with visibility one last thing you got to worry about but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this new 2020 Genesis G70. All right, and here she is, you guys, the new 2020 Genesis G70 finished in Victoria Black. Definitely looks very nice up front. Speaking of, let's go ahead and start up front. The G70 is definitely aerodynamically on point, I would say. Drag coefficient is 0.29, which is actually the best in class. And there is actually a full length underbody cover, which minimizes air resistance. So again, all of these things contributing to that zero to 60 time in 4.5 seconds. So that's definitely a plus as well. To the sides, projector beam headlights will come with that base two liter engine setup. However, all other packages, all other setups, including the 3.3 liter, of course, will come with full LED headlights. So that is currently what you guys are looking at right there. And of course, they're gonna come with the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, they're gonna turn on automatically for you there. LED daytime running lights also coming standard up there. Copper headlamp accents if 
you were to go with the sport trim level. Of course, we don't have that today, so you're not gonna see those copper accents in the headlights, but they are gonna be there if you were to go with the sport trim levels. In addition to that, that sport trim is also gonna add a dark chrome front grille whereas you are currently looking at a standard chrome front grille. So yet another difference between some of those package options. Also another thing I wanted to mention to you guys is the adaptive cruise control system. If you're wondering what that rectangular box looking thing is in that front grille, that's actually the sensor for the adaptive cruise control system. They just painted over it to make it look like the front grille and actually very well integrated in my opinion. It definitely looks right at home up there. You can't really tell even from a distance. So. That is definitely a nice looking setup there too. Then going ahead and making our way to the side, you will find chrome window surrounds for all trim levels, also chrome door handles. And again, they're gonna adjust. If you go with the sport trim, you're gonna find dark chrome for both of those. So it's a little bit different. Also that boomerang on the side front fender there, that is gonna come with a chrome finish. And again, a dark chrome finish if you were to go with the sport trim level. So that's definitely a nice little design cue up there as well. Now let's take a look at the side mirror. This is possibly my favorite design cue on this thing. Body colored power adjustable heated side mirrors will come standard with integrated turn signals for all trim levels but the part that I like on this thing is it looks like it's sitting on almost a shard of metal or a shard of chrome I would say because this chrome part actually extends out completely whereas a lot of times it does stop so it kind of does look like it's just sitting on a shard of chrome it's kind of cool. I don't know. I like it. They take a look down at the wheel setup. 18-inch alloy wheels with Michelin all-season tires will come with the 2-liter. 19-inch double five-spoke alloys for the 6-speed, the 2-liter prestige, and the 2-liter sport, and the 3.3-liter trim levels. So I would also mention there is a five-spoke design as well. So a couple different wheel setups available for the G70. One more thing I wanted to mention while we're still on the side here, though. The Genesis logo approach lights coming standard with the 2-liter elite trim level and up and all 3.3 liters as well so essentially what that is going to do is at night you will actually be able to see it will actually project a genesis logo down onto the ground at night so it's a nice little luxury touch for you you know but anyways let's go ahead and make our way to the back first thing you're going to find is that shark fin antenna up top of course and the thing that i like about the g70 it definitely has a very nice looking back and it's kind of like an integrated rear spoiler almost into the trunk so that definitely looks good. Take a look at the taillights back there. They are LED taillights. There's actually gonna be a dark taillight tint if you were to go with some of the sport packages. So again, that'll tie in with perhaps the dark chrome trim that is surrounding that bottom portion. Although this is standard chrome because we don't have the sport package, but nonetheless, as far as the exhaust setup goes, single exhaust outlet with dual chrome tips is gonna come with the two liter. However, if you were to go with a 3.3 liter, you're gonna get dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So. I do believe you guys know what is coming next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. Now, since we all round back, as far as opening that rear trunk goes, there actually is a button on the key fob. That is, of course, one way you can go about opening it. There is also a button by the driver's left knee. That is a second way to go about opening it. There's actually a rubberized button just above the license plate back there. That is kind of the hidden way. And the third way, you can go about opening the trunk on the G70. I did want to mention another new feature for 2020, the 2020 G70. There is a power trunk that will come with a 3.3 liter prestige trim level. And actually with a 3.3 liter sport as well so if you wanted a power trunk that is how you're going to go about getting it but honestly if you just hit the button on the key fob it's going to swing open automatically for you anyway so you kind of really don't need the power trunk on this one at least but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 10.5 cubic feet if that was not enough space however there is a 60 40 split meaning the rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it then making our way up to the rear seats rear legroom comes in at 34.8 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is me sitting behind myself a little bit less space of course than the g80 sport but it is pretty much as expected for this size sport sedan so i guess it would be fine for children car seats things like that but for a full size adult you might want to go with the g80 or g80 sport of course did want to also mention though for those rear passengers they will find rear ventilation rear center armrests with cup holders and actually rear heated seats if they were to go with the prestige or sport packages but now making our way up to the front seats when it comes to the two liter setup i'm going to break these up according to the engines of course two 
three-liter setup is going to give you leatherette seating, standard 12-way power adjustable driver's seat with four-way power lumbar. Leather surfaces are going to come with the Elite trim level and up. There is a brown leather available. That's another new addition for 2020. Heated front seats will come standard. Ventilated front seats with a two-liter prestige trim level and up. And of course, Napa leather with diamond pattern stitching as well with the two-liter prestige trim level and up. And then swinging around to the 3.3 liter we have today, Full leather seating with the integrated memory settings, and that, by the way, can be found on the driver's side door there for up to two different drivers. That is going to come standard along with power adjustable seats and power lumbar. Elite trim level that we have today is going to add ventilated front seats. Then if you go with the prestige trim level and up, you're going to get the Napa leather seating with diamond pattern stitching. And overall seating is definitely pretty comfortable. I would say it's as comfortable as Lexus F Sport seats, but definitely a pretty comfortable setup up here. But now let's take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping power adjustable, by the way. That's always nice. And it is actually wrapped in a perforated leather and it is going to be heated if you go with the 3.3 liter Elite package and up or the two liter prestige package and up. So that's how you're gonna get a heated steering wheel. Perhaps my only constructive criticism on the steering wheel at least is it needs to be a little bit thicker, I would say. It's honestly fine, and this is just my own personal preference, but I would go with more of a BMW style steering wheel with a little thicker 10 and two grips, but that's just, again, my personal opinion there. Then make our way to the startup. At first, I wanna start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Genesis logo on the one side and lock, unlock, and the button to pop the rear hatch, of course, on the other side, but it, of course, is all keyless entry, so all I'm going to do is simply just put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just below the infotainment screen, actually, but once started up, tachometers on your left, speedometers on your right, there's a fairly large digital display front and center. To control what is on that digital display, there are actually steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there. And so when playing around with that, there's a ton of different things you could check out. There's a digital speedometer if you'd rather display that up there. Of course, you can check out your driving modes. It's actually going to adjust the colors of that digital gauge setup up there. There's safety information you could check out up there. Also some driving statistics. There's a lap timer, G-force statistics. That's definitely pretty cool. You check out your boost pressure, oil temperatures, tons of things you can actually check out up there. So that's definitely pretty nice. But, but once again, I do have some constructive criticism for the gauges here. For example, the new Hyundai Sonata has a full digital gauge option. Why not the G70? But then I did some more research on that one actually. And I went to Genesis Korea website and what I found on there is a digital gauge setup unlike any other I have ever seen. It is a 3D digital gauge setup. It looks absolutely insane. I'm going to put some pictures on this video for you guys, but Genesis, this is the gauge setup I want you to bring to the US. You guys always use the coolest stuff in Korea first, and hopefully that'll make its way to the US because I feel like we're kind of being left out a little bit there because those gauges are freaking sweet. And it may just be a reason that somebody would get a G70 as opposed to a different vehicle just based on those intense looking awesome gauges alone. So that is my constructive criticism for the gauges. But now let's make our way to overall interior quality. There is a super wide moonroof up top here that is going to come standard with a 3.3 liter and it is going to come standard with a 2 liter elite package and up. Aluminum trim accents can be found throughout this one. Doesn't really matter what setup you go with there. Wireless phone charger you're going to get with a 3.3 liter elite trim level and up and the 2 liter prestige and up. Suede headliner can be found with the 2 liter prestige package and up and the 3.3 liter prestige package and up. And I think I skipped the headrest. As far as the headrests go, they're actually kind of comfy. Not quite as comfy as the G80 Sport, but they're certainly not bad, so no issues there for me. Homelink controls, of course, are available as well. There are aluminum foot pedals for the 2-liter Sport package and all of the 3.3-liter G70s, of course. And just looking around, I do like the aluminum trim accents around the passenger side glove box handle. That's always a plus. Also do like that wireless phone charger you can find up front as well. There's an auxiliary port, 12-volt power outlet, USB charging port. Got some cup holders just behind the shifter there, an electronic parking brake, and a decent amount of space just underneath of that center armor there's actually a USB charging port right there too. That's pretty cool. But overall, definitely finished quite nicely. I definitely would have loved if I had one of the, uh, let's say the sport package to get that suede headliner. Always like fancy headliners, but overall, definitely a very, very nice finish to the G70. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the tech display up front here. Eight inch color touchscreen display will come standard. And that's gonna also give you Bluetooth and audio streaming, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the G70. Then you have free navigation through your smartphone as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs. And there's a couple other apps as well up there. 
Factory navigation system can be had with the two liter Elite package and up in every single 3.3 liter. Again, you don't really need it though because with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, it gives you free navigation anyway. So it is gonna be there for you though. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Climate control info, you can also check out up there. And of course, your radio settings. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system on this one, six speaker setup will come with the two liter setup on the G70. 15 speaker lexicon sound system is going to come with the two liter elite package and up and every single 3.3 liter so of course we do have that 15 speaker lexicon sound system today with by the way 660 watts not quite as much as the g80 sport although that is a bigger vehicle but nonetheless i think you guys know what we have to do next let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one when i lose, when I lose control all right, you guys, that was pretty nuts. Definitely an insane sound system. And actually, Lexicon, Lexicon's pretty darn good. I will say, I think I like the G80 Sport one better. A little bit extra clarity, but honestly, a 15-speaker sound system is plenty. Definitely overkill for the size of this vehicle. So very nice sound system there. But so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the G70 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for all trim levels across the board. Actually, you will also get a surround view monitor with the prestige package, regardless of engine setup. Prestige package is going to give you that 360 degree monitor. And as always, that is going to lead us into safety. And so to start, the G70 is an IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus, which is the very highest designation given by IIHS, so that's definitely a good start. Front side and side curtain airbags will come standard. Driver's knee airbag also standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Rear child door locks back there, of course, as well, but also standard across the board. Forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, again, standard across the board. Adaptive cruise control, high beam assist, and driver attention warning as well. And by the way, if you did want parking sensors, you will have to go with the Elite package and up, but dang, that is a lot of standard safety features where a lot of other luxury automakers will charge you extra for those. So well done, Genesis there. But that about rounds out this review, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. So when it flips, let go. Here's pizza boy, USA.